Hi there guys and welcome to another episode of Blowdown. Today we're going to do our first catch and cook and the fish we're going to be using today is a Poonskop black mussel cracker. We are at the lovely Augusta Grill here in George and Godrich. If you haven't been here, pop around. They're going to help us prepare and fillet the fish. This is going to be a part one or four part uh, series that we're going to do about the fish. If you haven't seen the episode where I shot the black mussel cracker, please go and watch that. So um, yeah. The, the fish that we are using in this episode is a black, black mussel cracker. Now, I'd just like to say that this fish is on the red line, um, so you're not allowed to sell or buy this fish. Uh, this fish was a gift to the restaurant, and the fish is going to be cooked and um, made in three different ways by the executive chef Kali. And um, yeah, the fish was a, a gift to them, and they are also using that for a closed function for the friends and family. Um, of the restaurant so it's not being sold by the restaurant it's not being bought by the restaurant i would just like to make that very clear so executive chef kali is going to help us and uh, talk us through what's the most important thing when you are preparing and filleting a fish kali first of all clean working surface very sharp knife uh, uh, knowledge of how the fish is built on the inside so you can cut all the bones to pieces that's very good advice to start. After filleting many fish myself, <laughs> I did not know that. I normally fillet a fish on anything I can find. Sometimes it just be a fishing fins, but yeah, a clean surface, that would help. Your fins are different, Okay. We're going to start by cutting the bottom fin just loose. We're just going to loosen the fin. We're not going to fill it up from there. We're just going to loosen that fin. So when we come from the top, then it's easier over this bottom fin here. We're also going to cut back from the head, past these fins. That doesn't go to waste. We're going to use that for fish cakes later on. Under this, under this plate here, all fish got a plate here, so you cut in under that, right through. Yes, but you think it's a it's duck one. So that's the start. Now, when we come back to the side, we're going to start from the from the back fin and cut it up from there. Just now, 
just going to put it down there for now. And we'll do the other side of the fish back in the sack. <laughs> I suppose that is a little bit easier. So I'm just getting through those combs now. Yo. Die vis glij nou. Okay, I'm just going to chew. Pull along the rib bones there. So I've got your reputation on. <laughs> Down those bones, that's just the belly bones. None of this goes to waste, this all goes into fish cakes afterwards. I wanted to ask you what, what parts are you going to use for what? You're going to basically use the whole, whole fish. So okay, well, the two talking, fillets. While we're talking about that, Kali, can you just explain um, what, what is the three different dishes that you are going to prepare for us? Okay, I'm going to make fish cakes for a starter. Okay, got a nice soya um, sweet chili dressing. A bit of coriander, a bit of ginger in it. The fish cakes I'm going to make from this part here. I'm going to cook all this meat off the, off the bones. I'm going to make fish cakes from, from all this. And then, one fillet I'm just going to do on the fry with nice garlic, lemon, herb, butter. Like traditional, traditional way. And the other fillet I'm going to put in a curry sauce on the fry. In a little foil boat. So it will, it will be a hot curry fish, not a traditional cold curry fish. When I'm done with that. Okay guys, so there you have it. We're going to prepare the fish in three different ways and uh, Scully's going to explain everything step by step um, over the next couple of episodes. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on those awesome recipes. Pull out the bones quickly. Just on the side. There's two ways to get these bones out. You can use a pair of pliers like this, long nose, long nose pliers, that you can take, grip the bones and you can pull them out of the meat. But there is a slightly easier way to do it as well. And that's by just taking your knife, feeling the, the bones, they all run in a straight line here, and just cutting in next to them, right to the skin. And on the other side of them as well, as as possible to them as you can get and then just removing that whole row with the, with the bones in it. Fold the fillet double, double and you can just... Now my fingers are slippery with the gloves. Gonna do exactly the same with the other one quickly as well. 